to help us maximize those natural resources for jobs right here in eastern Ohio. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, listen, I'm uh, honored to uh, introduce to you uh, one of his sons. They've been crisscrossing the state. And as you know, the governor's been here quite a bit. I was with Governor Romney and Senator Portman in Portsmouth uh, last Saturday. We had thousands of people there. Tomorrow we're going to be with Congressman Ryan in St. Clairsville in Belmont County. And we're very proud to have Tag Romney with us uh, here today. So ladies and gentlemen, Tag Romney. Thank you very much. Well, it's an honor to be here with you today. I was in Wisconsin yesterday. Uh, I understand my brothers have been uh, crisscrossing Ohio. I, I get to come here today. Um, I, should, I should, just by way of introduction, my name, uh, people ask me all the time, is Tag Romney your real name? Uh, unfortunately, it is. Uh, uh, it's short for Taggart. Uh, I wish I could tell you I was named after Dagny Taggart uh, in uh, Atlas Shrugged. Atlas Shrugged. I, I, was, I, was, I was not. My, my parents actually knew someone in college. They didn't even know him that well. Uh, his name was Tag Taggart. They liked it, and uh, they stuck me with it. Uh, my, my younger four brothers are Matt, Josh, Ben, and Craig. They all have very normal-sounding names. Uh, I, I am, uh, uh, by the way, I am the oldest. Uh, um, uh, the other brothers, you know, there's one who's taller than I am. There's a, a couple who are uh, more athletic. Some would say smarter. Uh, but today with you, you have the favorite son. Uh, <laughs> just don't tell them I told you that. <laughs> I, by the way, I also have five sons of my own. Uh, and, uh, um, thank you. I, I did do one thing my dad did not do, though, uh, uh, and that is I had a daughter, too. And, uh, so six six kids. I, when I went to my wife, by the way, my youngest my youngest boys are uh, five month old twins, oh. David and William. Oh. And uh, and uh, uh, people always ask me, how, how are the twins doing at home? The twins are doing great. It's mom and dad who are, uh, are struggling to uh, to get some sleep. But uh, you know, it's funny. I went to my uh, I went to the campaign a few months ago and said, for the last couple months of the campaign, I you know I'm happy to do whatever you need me to do. Uh, and I expected that they say, well, you know, we'll put you on the road a day or two a week and have you go speak to some people. Uh, but they came back with a proposed schedule. They had me on the road six or seven days a week. Uh, and uh, I, as I looked at that schedule, I thought, oh, my wife's going to kill me. Uh, and, uh, and so I, I took the schedule to my wife and I said, what do you think, Jenny? Are you okay with me doing this? And uh, was, uh, she, she paused for a few moments. Uh, she looked at the schedule again. She read through all the lists. Now, if, for those of you who have had young babies, you'll know if you have two of them at home, it's not a good time to send your husband away for uh, for three months. And uh, but you know, she she looked back up and she said, "You know what, Tag? There's nothing you can do more important for the future of our kids and our country than getting your dad elected." Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely right. I think this is the most important election of my lifetime. It is! Uh, yeah, you look at the difference in the choices that we have before us right now, yeah. and they could not be more clear. Yep. Uh, uh, you have, on the one hand, uh, a president whose rhetoric doesn't match his record. You know, he sounds good when you, when you listen to him, all the things that he wants to do. Uh, uh, and uh, But then you look at what he's actually done. He says yeah. he wants to cut the budget deficit in half. Has he done that? No. 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 He took it, he took it uh, to $16 trillion. He had $5 trillion in debt in the last four years. Uh, think about what that's going to do. You, know, you see these little guys down here. Who's going to have to pay that back? They are. Uh, he wanted to get uh, unemployment down to around 5%. Has he done that? No. No. <laughs> no what, it, it's, uh, you know, we have 23 million Americans who are out of work or that's underemployed. Right. Uh, but the, the hurt goes deeper than that. There are people who have jobs who are worried about losing them. Yep. The people who have jobs who have seen their incomes fall. Medium income in this country has dropped by $4,500 in four yeah. years. That's just, that's on American. Uh, the American dream is at risk. Uh, uh, on the other hand, you have a guy, my dad, uh, who, uh, who I think uh, knows what he's doing. Uh, and I know I'm a little bit biased. Um, uh, but I can tell you, I've seen him in lots of situations. And every time that he's taken over a troubled situation, he's turned around and made it better. Um, uh, 
there's two reasons I go where as I've gone everywhere I've told the people there's two reasons to vote for my dad the first is uh, he's really smart and qualified he knows what he's doing right. whether it was uh, 25 years in business uh, whether it was uh, uh, running the Olympics or yep. uh, turning around the state of Massachusetts like people ask me all the time how does a Republican win in Massachusetts um, I think there's more of us here today than there are Republicans in my home state <laughs> and, uh, uh, and and the reason he won was uh, the three billion dollar budget deficit and uh, you know what the Democrat solution was? Uh, uh, anyone want to guess? What was? What were the Democrats saying? Raise taxes! Raise taxes! Raise taxes. <laughs> you guys are smart. And spend! <laughs> and spend, yeah. And, and so uh, my dad's solution was, well, you know what we got to do? We got to cut taxes and cut spending. Right. And uh, the Boston Globe said he didn't know how to do math. Uh, you can't cut taxes and cut the deficit at the same time. Well, uh, you know what he did? He cut taxes. He cut spending. Uh, uh, at the end of his four years there, he left the state with a $2 billion rainy day fund. Uh, the, the, second, the, the second reason to vote for my dad is in addition to being really good at what he does, uh, he's also a really good man. Uh, and I can tell you as his son, uh, I've seen him close up uh, in, uh, in, in action. Uh, I've seen him when there's no cameras around. I've seen him uh, well before he ever decided to run for office. And I can tell you uh, that, like most Americans, he loves his family deeply. Uh, he loves his wife most of all. Uh, it used to be that he loved his kids uh, next most of all, but now it's his grandkids. Uh, uh, he's got 18 of those. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, but in addition to that, he loves his neighbors. Uh, he loves uh, not just the ones that live near him, but, uh, uh, but uh, all of God's children. Uh, and I can tell you, I, having uh, seen him in action, uh, well, I remember as a 10-year-old uh, coming home one day and my dad telling me that uh, uh, there was a, a, a friend of ours in, in church whose 10-year-old had been diagnosed, or sorry, whose 14-year-old had been diagnosed with leukemia. Uh, and, uh, and then watching the next couple of months as my dad got involved in their life and, and spent his nights and weekends at the hospital with that family. Uh, and, uh, and, and helped write his will before he passed away and then uh, spoke at his funeral and then uh, spent time with him with their family after he passed away. Uh, about the 15-year-old the girl who went missing, uh, his, his, his partner's daughter. Uh, you know that story about uh, what, what happened with her? She, she, uh, she snuck out to a party uh, and uh, her parents told her not to go to. Uh, uh, she uh, didn't come home the next morning the, the part, my, it was my dad's partner. He called my dad and said, my daughter's not here. I, I, I need to take some time off to try to see what I can do to help find her. And my dad said, you know, I, I don't know what your reaction would be. I think my reaction would have been, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Bob. Take as much time as you need. Let me know how I can help. That's not who my dad is. My dad gets involved. He, he said, well, Bob, I'm going to come help you find her. And then he called the company-wide meeting and said, who's with me? Who wants to come help find her? Everyone raised their hand. They shut down the office. They went to New York. Uh, uh, I won't go through all the details, but they printed up a couple hundred thousand flyers, um, passed them out, uh, and within a couple of days, they had helped find her. Uh, and uh, and you think about what the impact that had on that young girl's life yeah. uh, and, and that whole family's life. Um, she's a mom now uh, and 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 uh, and a wife. And uh, I can tell you the reason my dad is running uh, is. He cares deeply about people. Uh, he wants very much to help uh, uh, all Americans get back on their uh, on their feet, to keep the American dream alive. Uh, in addition to being a great president, he will be a great role model and a great man. I love him an awful lot. Americans, as they're getting to know him, are loving him more and more. Uh, you know, uh, the, the, the Democrats have spent a lot of money trying to turn him into something that he's not. I, I love the line after the, the last debate. Uh, well, I, you know, people ask me, how can we have so much momentum right now? What's what what's the cause of it? Well, it's because the Democrats spent so much time and effort trying to make my dad look like someone that he's not. That when he got up there and and shattered all that at the debate, and people said. Oh my goodness, he's smart and he's a good man too. That they they realize that all those lies the Democrats have been telling were true, and uh, and as a result, we've had all this momentum. So I'm going to end uh, with by asking you one question: uh, Are we going to win Ohio? Yeah. 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 Thank you for being here. If you haven't.
voted already. Get out and vote. Paul Ryan's going to be in Belmont tomorrow. So get, uh, go there and, and give him a warm welcome like you've given us. Uh, if, you, if you already have voted, uh, knock on your neighbor's doors. Make sure that they voted. Yep. Uh, make calls. Get to the victory centers. Do everything you can. We need to win. It is, it is imperative. We have no choice. Thanks for being here, everybody.